Well, hello, CB ears. How you doing today? I've been sitting here waiting for uh, Skip to come in probably about three hours now, and I wanted to do a sideband show for you guys, and it just ain't working out. Just isn't working out. So I thought I'd take you guys outside and give you a look at my antenna, and you guys can check that out. All right, so I'll meet you outside. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody, welcome to the outside. That's my Conyer uh, Lemmy, named after Lemmy Kilmister from Motorhead. <laughs> and uh, there's my antenna right there. There she is. Yeah, the Serio GPE 27 5 8 wave ground plane. Uh, the antenna mast, or not the mast, but the main antenna section, the, the whip section is 19 and a half feet long, and then the radials are four and a half feet long. Um, I'm running RG8X uh, coax, running down the house here, right here. Makes a nice loop so I don't get any drips into the underneath of the house, but goes underneath the house and across and into the CB lounge. Uh, I got a six foot copper ground rod here. Uh, I've got it hammered in about four feet. Um, and I'm running 12 gauge uh, solid copper wire. And it runs all the way up there and it connects to the mount not directly to the antenna itself but to the mount and that's just a gable end mount for a television basically set up and then uh, you know a stainless steel mast it's on a five foot mast uh, that's about ooh 20 feet up there maybe 18 feet and then give it another 19 feet for the top of the top of the whip so close to 40 feet not too bad not too bad um, I'll take you up there and give you a closer look at uh, the coil and everything alrighty there she is the Cereo GPE 27 I love this thing I've had it for about a year now really the only issue I had with it was water intrusion during really monsoonal torrential rains and uh, it intruded into the middle of the of the um, antenna and came all the way down into the connector here and filled it full of water when I undid the uh, PL259 all this water came pouring out so at each joint at each joint I put uh, Gorilla tape the waterproof Gorilla tape except for the very last joint up there where the antenna is to be adjusted you adjust it like a um, car antenna but uh, let me get you let me get you into that coil there yeah isn't that neat I got Gorilla Tape there too yeah it's been a fantastic antenna it really has I do recommend it. I do recommend this antenna. It's uh, obviously I get out really good with it. Uh, here's the surroundings that I deal with to get out. Lots of mountains. So I'm right in the middle of the mountains here. On all sides. Well, that's more of a hill right there, but yeah. What else can I tell you about it? Uh, it's been through about 85 mile an hour winds. It gets very windy here. Um, a bird once used it to perch and it bent the end of the antenna up there. I had a 45 degree angle, so I had to take the antenna down and bend it back. <laughs> Uh, but that's not the antenna's fault So I guess one more thing I can add is uh, It is light enough to put up all by yourself 
as long as it's not too windy of course um, I found that it was really easy to put up by myself so I didn't need any help it's very simple alrighty everybody well I appreciate you coming up on the roof with me and checking out my antenna let's hope we get some more skip out there so I can give you guys some more awesome content and uh, we can have fun together on a live stream so we will see you soon here at the CB Lounge 2112 and uh, everybody 73s and uh, I'm 107.